Hello friends, welcome to Android Gateway YouTube channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to pass code transcript, MCQs test as well as audio test. First of all, you must read code transcript transcription guideline. This will help you in MCQs test as well as audio test because audio test is very important. You must apply all these code transcription guidelines into the audio test. So this will help you in passing the audio test so after reading all these guidelines all the way to the end let's move to the MCQs test and first question is what do you have to do when a person agrees on something by saying yep uh, okay so you simply search in transcription guideline and never spell ok or ok it must always be spelled as this for ok by and yay yep and this is always written as yes so according to the transcription guideline first option is correct How should abbreviation and look like? So simply check in transcription guideline. Abbreviation should not contain dash period. This form is right and this form is wrong. So according to the transcription guideline, second option is correct. Of second. How should you mark an incomplete thought? Give the change of thought or incomplete sentence. So, incomplete sentence that add some extra information in full war between. So, simply check in guideline. So, use double dashes. And there is a change of thought, false start, or speech or error. Do not mark or mark an incomplete sentence. So this for double dashes. So according to the transcription guideline, first option is correct. It used double dashes. According to the transcription guideline. Fourth question is. For our BTM startups, so simply check this in go transcription guideline. Why is this M dash M? So this is the correct option. So according to the transcription guideline, C option is correct. Fifth question is: If you cannot understand something, what should you do? check in so let's move to the if you cannot hear uh, being sent specified time when speech cannot hear but it cannot be understand due to the speaker minor use unintelligible with the time stamping according to the transcription guideline second option is correct of fifth question if you cannot hear the specific term you should cannot hear simply check in transcription guideline cannot hear if you cannot hear the word being said, mark is inaudible and integral. So, according to the transcription guideline, do some research. If you cannot find anything, mark then inaudible and with a specific time. First option is correct. Full 
Arhibutium does not include. So, full Arhibutium section Let's move to the full Arhibutium section Repetition, starter, slang word, filler word, false start speech error. These are included in full Arhibutium so the C option is not included in full war BTM. So this option is correct. What should you do with the course word? Simply check in transcription guideline. If there is a curse word in audio, transcribe them word for word. So transcribe it word for word is the correct option. How do you repetition? Check in transcription guideline page. I went then dash then other sentence. So, according to the transcription guideline, first option is correct. Last question is which sentence written and capitalized correctly clean or medium? First is false because it starts with small letter, second is also false because it starts with small letter. Third sentence is also false because it includes slang word. Gota is a slang word. And last is correctly capitalized and according to the clean Warbutium rules. So that's why last option is correct of 10th question. After all, you need to click on confirm. After clicking on confirm, you move to the next page of code transcript audio test. So this is the video for today. I hope this video is helpful for you and I provide a video link, video test link in the video description. You simply check it. So I hope this video is helpful for you and also please like the video and do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Thank you very much. See you soon.